I am so excited that you're joining me here. I am today, I am joining Mix It Up Monday. And that is a collaboration between Anna with Peace Crest Love and Kimberly from I'd Rather Be Scrapbooking. And it's a using a sketch and then doing mixed media. And I just have this whole pile of goodness. Um, and somewhere in here is a, is a photo. So uh, I think I've chatted recently about Meredith, middle daughter, right here, and myself went on a mission trip down to Atlanta, Georgia. And then uh, from there, we went on to Florida where we had a youth convention. So we took a, we were with a bunch of youth from our church. Here is our setup for the night while we were in Georgia. Um, she had an air mattress, I had a cot. We had a lump of stuff in between us. This is actually my, my suitcase. And I am going to document this. So I pulled out kind of sort of a little bit what's left of my Illustrated Faith. This I just, this is like my just favorite because of the colors. This is my jam. Uh, this is from a, it might be Echo Park collection. So that is separate, but um, the I've got so, um, Paper Studios stickers. But the rest of this goodness, not the background papers, is the what, here's another <laughs> one that snuck in there, but that's from Paper Studio as well. That good little piece that I've got left in there that I thought went with the colors. So all of these pieces, parts, and some even stickers is from Illustrated Faith, and I just love these colors. So this is my inspiration. Now the, the sketch that we're using is by Scrapping Harden. That's Christine. I'll have her information linked below. Um, and so she's got the picture with some fishtail banners here. This could be where the mixed media is, the butterflies title, some more fishtail banners and some more uh, butterflies, which again could be some mixed media. So I am probably gonna be pulling in some more things, probably I would think some solid kit color papers to go with this, but I am gonna piece together some of these things to be the layering pieces. So I'm quite excited. We're gonna see how this goes. So let's get scrapping. This is truly bittersweet where I am, I'm using up my collection, which is great, but I'm using up my collection, so it makes me a little bit sad because this is one that's really favorite because it's just that bright, vibrant colors. And you'll see I struggle just a little bit. So I know I want to back the photo, but I don't have a piece big enough. So I do go in my stash and I find this. This is from a different paper pad, but I like the purple and I think it's kind of a purple and purple. I like the colors. So um, and it, it kind of a pinky purple. So I use that to back the photo and first I cut it wrong. So I cut it a second time and I make it a little bit bigger and it works out well. And then I go in to trim down the back background pieces because they're not the same um, height or size. So I do go ahead and trim that down. And then I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna use for those other background pieces, um, the fishtail banners. And, and what I'm gonna use on the bottom. And those butterflies going that way, I didn't really wanna use those. So you'll see what I do with a minute with, with those. So I'm looking at the, the hearts and I'm thinking instead of the butterflies, I'll use the heart stencil up on top. And then I try to figure out which background piece do I want. There are two um, different wood backgrounds. She used wood and I thought that that look would look nice. Um, and I really struggled, but I did, this piece was a little more neutral. It didn't have all the lines going on. So I felt like with all the colors going on that this was a good choice. And it's a, ne a neutral color on top of that. So here are the strips and I'm gonna fishtail banner those. And you're gonna see me flip it over and go, oh my gosh, look at the beautiful stuff that's on the back of it. And nope, you know, control yourself. You gotta use, use the rest of this paper. You're not saving it for anything. Oop, there it goes. <laughs> so, and then I decide I'm gonna cut, well, I wanna cut the fishtail banner the same on each of those pieces. And then I'm gonna cut, um, 
them in half so they can go each go on either side and I just make I just kind of fold it in the middle and then cut it because you're not going to see that piece so I can piece them together behind the photo and you'll never know it's not a continuous piece and here I am back to staring at those two pieces that go behind and I do rip that side um, like that is in the sketch so I start gluing things down and I'm and I know that I'm going to be doing some stenciling behind that photo cluster there um, but I still want to have the placement and everything so I do adhere it down and I use my ruler to get the strips behind it straight so that it does appear to be one continuous line and then after I get the hearts down I do go and get the blue uh, fishtail banner uh, adhered down as well and then I just make sure I'm going to pull out my ruler here in a second just to make sure that that lines up as well on, on either side I had a little extra adhesive and the ATG just rubs right off so that was not a problem and I am going to take this pretty this piece of paper which is pretty on both sides and then um, sneak it in in the middle there um, between both of those and then I will line up the other sides with the fishtail banners and then I'm just gonna on the other side I have to trim off a little bit but here goes the blue and why I didn't sneak the other one in there because it's sandwiched in between the two I'm not sure <laughs> there was some method to my madness I'm just not really sure why so I'll um, put the adhesive on this one and then sneak it in between both sides again and and again measuring it kind of eyeballing it with that ruler behind so that um, every each one of those strips looks like it's continu a continuous um, strip of paper oh there <laughs> that the, the blue like just fits um, where it's supposed to so if I get it on there at the end um, it has just enough to, to adhere down there and I just do more fussing to get them all lined up and get them adhered down and then I will be ready to glue the whole thing down to the paper um, on the sketch you'll see there's maybe a little bit of um, room uh, on the right side between the, the kind of the strip and the right side of the page and I just pull mine right totally up to the right side of the page and I like the way that looked so then I work on the cluster on the bottom and I am taking out all the pieces parts to see what I can use without using up too much of that pretty background or the uh, the second side of the paper and both of these tags I had to sacrifice one because it's got that uh, the design on the front piece and so I just needed a little bit of that and then um, I decided I'm not going to use that uh, because the butterflies are going the wrong direction <laughs> which it might have been covered up and maybe you couldn't tell but um, I found this piece and I wanted to use it it is thinner than the sketch you will notice because I think the sketch banners are the same size on the bottom as they are on the top um, that is not the case with mine and, and that's okay with me I flip flop them so now this um, doodled piece of paper is the bigger one and the blue is the smaller one and I like the way that looks and if you're not looking at the sketch you won't know that I didn't do the same exact thing as as what was intended in the sketch because as I always say it's uh, the sketch is really jumping off you can take anything that you want from it um, maybe it's the background paper maybe it's a little bit of stenciling maybe it's the butterflies um, you know whatever it is the colors um, take from it what you like and then don't you know you know modify it based on your on what you like and your style that's the important thing is to make it your own so then I pull out some stamps and these are close to my heart stamps from probably no I think it's from the same collection um, super old uh, not available probably 15 years old uh, but what I decide to do is well I gotta tell you my first thought was I have these st stencils of these small hearts I should go out and buy a stencil with a big heart well that was silly so my second thought then was what you've got these stamps what if you put some of this texture paste 
onto your stamp. So it's stencil butter. It is by TCW and it is turquoise stencil butter. So I try it and the first one didn't turn out so good. And then even the next couple, you don't get the polka dots on the stamp. So the more I stamp it, uh, there you can see you can get the polka dots from it. So I end up using one of those that is not one of the first ones so that you can see more of the detail of the stamp. And I really like that. And I had a lot to choose from. So um, while I'm letting that dry, I take my stencil. I should have probably masked it off. You could take some washi tape and then put it over the hearts that you don't want to get the stencil butter on. I was trying to be careful. That's not always the best way to go. Um, when, when I pull it off, you will see that I got some like partial hearts, which I don't hate. And it, you know, mixed media is what is what it is. It's not going to be perfect every time. Um, and I'm learning as I go. So next time I would just try it with some washi tape, um, just to tape off some parts that I don't want um, to get the stencil butter on, but I like the way this turns out. Here you see I got some on my fingers and I'm like, oh, don't touch the picture. Don't get your stencil butter on your picture. But I wanted it to go right up underneath the photo um, so it wasn't like cut off weird or anything. And I achieved what I wanted to. So here I'm pulling it off. And you'll just see a couple blobs, you know, nothing bad. And then I go for a smaller heart. And I think I will do two of these. Actually, I'll stamp them and then cut two of these out. And I don't know if I should have maybe gone thinner on it because you'll see the first several ones that I stamp off, I'm not going to use those. But that doesn't mean it's, you know, I don't know that it worked better with less. Um, maybe it wouldn't have worked as good. I don't know. So, again, just playing, just figuring things out. So there I stamp. And I'm sorry you can't see them super good, but I end up using two of the, um, that's second, second generation because they're probably fourth or fifth generation, but I use some of them so you can get the, the look of the stamp better. So I've already cut them out, and now I'm going to try to figure out how do I want them. Um, in the sketch, they have three totally different butterflies. I have one, this one heart, two, and then two of the same hearts. So I'm just going to, you know, kind of make these look random, make sure that they don't look like they line up. And I spend an awful lot of time making them look random because that's the way I am. And I will end up, um, before all is said and done, I will put some adhesive uh, foam tape behind them to pop them up just a little bit. In the sketch, there is no particular place for journaling. And I did want to just a little place where I could journal. So I did cut these two strips out of the blue and layered those down and glued them with them at my wet glue so that I can move them around a little bit as I need them to get them straight. Here's where I take the foam tape and put it behind the heart so that I can pop them up a little bit and lay them down randomly um, again. Make sure you are checking out down below everyone that's playing along. There will be a, a list of, of those um, making a video today for Mix It Up Monday. Um, I cut a title out with my Cricut. It says, Be the Light, which I thought was very appropriate for our mission trip. And here I am, and I like, again, using the liquid glue because you can, and you'll see me in a minute, get out my weeding tool from Cricut. And it's just a great way to, maybe I have little fat fingers where it's hard to line up these letters. And by getting the weeding tool out, it is so easy to straighten out the letters. You're not worried about bumping something else and misaligning it again. Oh, there was, a, there was an, the dot of an eye hiding on my finger. And especially like that little dot, I mean, how do you line that up with your, my fingers? It's impossible. You'll see the T is at a slant. Here's the weeding tool. It is perfect for moving those things around. Get the T over to exactly where it should be. I like to use scripty fonts that have linked the letters together. In this, in this case, not all the letters are linked, so it just takes a little bit more doing to get them straightened up. But I hope you have a fabulous day. I'll see you again soon. Bye.